Hello, welcome back to the channel. My name is Elizabeth from Elizabeth Magical Garden, a magical garden reaching for the stars. Guys, look what I have here. I have some beautiful produce and I have to tell you, I was prompted, this is, okay, so basically this is what I'm going, these are the products that I decided to use for the next couple of days. This is gonna last me, um, cause I'm gonna do a little bit of meal prepping tomorrow. So, um, like the sweet potato is definitely going to come in handy and uh, during the course of either the meal that I prepare or uh, the day, I'll incorporate these things. This is cilantro, this is cabbage, sweet sweet potato like I just said mentioned, um, this is avocado, purple onions. I did uh, treat myself to some strawberries, so I'm looking forward to eating that, and um, two carrots. Now here's the thing, it's so funny because um, there was a sale about baby carrots or whatever, I, I, I forget how much I paid, but I think I paid anywhere like $2.99 or something like that, I don't know. But no, 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 it was like $1.99, it was on sale. So anyway, of course I got spoiled and I wanted to purchase those baby carrots, but I didn't see them, right? This is the trick. First of all, okay, I'm not eating all of this. This is something that I'll, with some celery, some dressing that I make myself, or um, a dip, I will cut a certain amount and then I cut them in the middle and I make them thinner. So this could last anywhere between two, I'm gonna say three days, okay? Because nobody's eating all of these carrots like that. Because I'm mixing it with other things like celery. You know, I keep it very simple, but I use enough of it. So what I'm trying to say is like with the baby carrots, yeah, they probably would've lasted a little longer. But if you're trying to, if you're on a budget, because a sister had her, um, she did have her list, that's another thing. Be sure to have a list when you go food shopping so you don't stray. And that has been always been very helpful for me. But I'm saying, all this to say that I'm not vegan guys I don't eat meat but I am following more I am aiming following more of an alkaline diet and uh, like I said um, I think I mentioned I know I mentioned in one of my platforms um, be sure to check out my podcast it goes live every Thursday because I'm saying I think I mentioned it on my um, podcast be sure to check out my podcast guys it goes live every single Thursday and be sure to subscribe to this particular video because this is really good for your health your knowledge and definitely your coins your pockets right so in saying that guys this came up to about $15 I want to say less because I did buy um, garbage bag uh, paper towel and toilet tissue so I'm gonna say this probably was like about I'm, I'm gonna take off $5 I'm gonna say all of this was $10 what all of this was $10 guys and it's so funny I um, stopped eating uh, I stopped eating uh, meat for many many years going on 10 years soon right and I always I have always consumed fish but the thing about it is as my body changed I just turned 48 not too long ago so I am in the premenopausal stages so I've been doing a lot of research for myself um, in terms of I was really dealing with the night sweats guys guys I'm gonna make a whole this is gonna be a series because honestly speaking it goes in deep I don't think I, I personally don't feel like anybody talks about the premenopausal what's going on I mean yeah we have doctors and so forth but I don't know I just feel like the research is not as um, as as explicit as I, I, I felt like it should have been but anyway um, so that's where I'm at and I just want to show you some of these things because I only spent ten dollars for this guys look how much food this is and you know you may be you know for the people that's not used to taking off certain things off their plate I always say even if you make one healthy choice during the course of the day that's a start take one thing off your off your plate that you know that you you know pretty much don't really need and add a fruit or a vegetable and it changed my life I'm going I'm proud to say it's been like I think 28 days since I've been, um, I haven't been eating fish. I'm so sorry, guys. I, ha I didn't mention that. I haven't been eating meat. Well, I stopped the meat for years ago, but years ago. But I haven't been eating fish for um, a, a while, a while now. And it was, I had tuna fish, but that was like 
weeks ago so again I'm not gonna claim like I'm this I'm that I personally for me um I'm just a clean eater for my body that's it it's so funny because some people get offended by you saying you're a clean eater but shit if it's making me go <laughs> excuse me to the bathroom being healthy TMI I know but gut health is extremely important your gut is connected to your brain okay your moods so I haven't felt I, guys I feel amazing so I'm a type of person I'm here for what it works and also I will add I have been um, reintroducing myself to different ways in incorporating these uh, these fruits and vegetables anyway guys I just want to share this with you guys because a lot of times when people think that when you have to eat healthy is extremely um, is extremely expensive now it can be ex expensive if you get to like ordering certain things or whatever you know because it is a it, it is it is a lifestyle but honey it's nothing that lime uh, uh, garlic allspice and then you build from there can't really in olive oil um, that to me is just finding your particular taste that's just a few ingredients I love to use in my cooking but those are you know you find your taste and you find what works for you and some things you are learning to introduce yourself to as I am right now so guys I love you so much I just wanted to share this with you guys because I'm all about the holistic eating and this is why another reason why I don't you know, I, I don't I don't feel like the need to call myself any particular uh, thing. I just feel like I'm a holistic, holistically um, clean eater. I like the clean eater, but you know, if I have to really be honest, I just follow my body and follow the tunes. Like I said, I just turned 48, so the tunes is this. Okay, this is the vibes, guys. Let me just let me let me. I ain't get my carrots in there. Let me let me see my carrots. Like, let me just give you a little. Okay. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe and hit that bell so you'll be notified every time your girl uploads a video. Be sure to subscribe and follow my podcast. It's at Elizabeth Magical Garden as well. Follow me on all social platforms. But if I had to be perfectly honest, although I have been posting on my stories on Facebook, I definitely post on my on my Instagram um, stories every day. So if you want to keep up with your girl and let's keep in you know contact, let's let's keep the loves and the vibes going. Anyway, guys, I pray that this video finds you in great and lovely spirits, and I definitely speak to you soon. Bye.